Hey guys, how's it going? I don't really care how it's going. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this is a game between the Red 2003 playing Thier Forest and Kalisk playing Savage Tundra. Kalisk's first champion is a Frostwing Glaive. I swear to God, these things are crazy. And I don't know why people are asking for buffs for them. Well, I say people, I mean crazy Savage Tundra players. This is seriously the second best legendary, if not the best. I think it's the best, but, you know. And uh, after Vossier Reaver gets nerfed, it will definitely be the best. Because I, know I, I don't hear many people complain about it. I don't know why. It does so much damage, and it has evasive... And it's, <laughs> it's range 1 to 4. It's also got 60 HP. I don't know. Just everything about it bothers me. So then he's got Horse Ear. So, uh, seriously, slut. <laughs> I see this every time she's deployed. And uh, so he's got two of my least favorite Savage Tundra units out. All he has to do now is deploy an Owl Raider, and it will be complete. The Red has a Fairy Trickster. It seems like every game I observe of his, he starts out with a Fairy Trickster. Hmm. Your fairy trickster is hunted uh, by uh, the Frostwing Glaive, and um, which means that she takes 50% uh, more damage. Yep. He's also got a Cthulhu the Ancient and a Woodland Diplomat. So Kalos gets his font with a uh, Glaive. And he secures the font with uh, Shardseer as long as she's out uh, for the next three turns. Uh, the red can't contest Kalisk's font. So that's going to include this turn, now the red's turn, and then Kalisk's next turn. That he can't, he can't, his font can't be contested. And after that, it's fair game. So like the way it works is that like if the red contested with Fairy Trickster, Kalisk would still have his font and be able to deploy from it next turn. But then if Fairy Trickster survives that turn, uh, it would be contested on the Reds next turn. There's a Queen Anaru. These are some annoying champions. Uh, and uh, Kalisk has a Ward of Ilor That slipped past my commentary, but no worries, I caught it. Fairy Trickster moving back. probably has a divert on her uh, from a Naru. She's within range because uh, Frostwing Glaive could do a little Glaive bounce there and hit a Naru and the Lurper otherwise. So he definitely has divert up. Uh, if you ask me. So there's a Jackai Frost Queen. Ugh, I hate Jackai Frost Queen. Hate them so much. Moves forward with the Ward of Ilor. Moves Frostwing Glaive over a bit. Sort of daring the red to move in, I guess. I don't know. Who's in here? Who's in here with me? Easy Prey, Crazy D from my own guild, and Nolg. I don't know if Nolg's in my guild or not. For some reason I think that he is... Nope, he's not. I don't know why I thought that. So, uh, it's the Red's turn. So we're in a weird little standoff here. Can I just rant about this bush for, for one second? Uh... It... Why? Why? Just why? Why is it still there? Let's check it out. Impassable, of course. This is the sort of thing that just screws over 2x2 two two champs. I mean, I don't really care about C'Thun getting screwed over, because he kind of deserves it, but like... Uh, there's so many 2x2 two two champs that don't deserve it, you know? So, uh, Fairy Trickster metamorphosizing the Glaive, then moving around. So now Frostwing Glaive is a very threatening glowing slider. Fairy Trickster's got five charges, so next turn she'll have six, which means that she has a uh, counter spell mastery up, which means that she can counter the next spell that uh, Kalisk um, casts. Of course, she might be dead. Who knows? She's got Energy Thief, so Frostwing Glaive can still get off one attack if he wants, and then attack with the uh, you know Frost Queen. 
for some annoying damage. Really hate playing on this map against uh, Savage Tundra because, you know, <sighs> they can gale force and stuff, but it's not as bad as, like, you know, Forglar Swamp with Neuromancers or uh, Forsaken Waste with Domination. They can just cliff all your stuff. So Frostwing Glaive has a Withering Fern now. <laughs> uh, Withering Fern. Withering Fern. So uh, the red is serious about killing it. And uh, gets off one attack for eight damage. Oh, it's diverted. That was planned. And so now Frost Queen's going to attack. And uh, so not only is uh, Fairy Trickster silenced now, but it's also chilled. And if you're wondering what silence means, it means she can't activate any abilities, which is behind because she's already activated Metamorphosis. And she's only got 30 HP left. So, uh, there you go. Horse here moves back because she's a pussy. In more ways than one. She's just one gigantic vagina. So what's Fairy Trickster gonna do? Well, I'll tell you what. Um, Archidon has Shimmering Flower, which means he cannot shatter. Interesting. Interesting choice. I wonder why. <laughs> I guess the Red's uh, planning on equipping something cool. Nope. I was thinking that he might put a Rejuvenation Ring on uh, Fairy Trickster or something, but he didn't. Uh, so I don't really know why he has a Shimmering Flower on Arcadon. It's obviously to prevent Shatter, but he's not going to equip anything else, so I don't know what's going on. Um, Bowmage imbues himself with magical energy. Did I read that right? So for the next five turns, his next basic attack stuns and does plus two damage. Uh, and it used to be called imbue, but in the latest patch it got changed to imbue stun. So I guess they're planning other um, imbue abilities later. Uh, there's the newly buffed Wisp. Um, it now has range one to three. It used to just be melee. The damage got buffed a little bit. I believe he used to have nine damage. Is that right? Maybe that's just completely wrong. I think the HP went up too. And uh, he also has Magical Bomb 3. Didn't used to have that at all. And Phase Shift, as well as Soul Sift Ranked 1. So uh, he's not bad now. And of course, he's got Grand Entrance. That's new, too. So um, the Glowing Slider. Uh, wait, no, it wasn't the Glowing Slider. I don't know what got. Oh, it was uh, the Ward of Ilora got dumbfounded from Grand Entrance. So there's the Owl Raider, so the trifecta of annoying champs is complete. Shard Seer, Owl Raider, Jack Eye Frost Queen. Oh, and Glaive! So I guess it's more like a quad qu square. I don't know. So there goes Glaive, retreating back to his font like a sissy. And Lurper is uh, contesting, but he's dead from Chilled. And uh, Gnarled Grappler is Nora Shielded, so... Oh, what just happened? What do you cast? Fairy Trickster used Counterspell Mastery to stop Snowblind. Now, I don't know if Callus did that on purpose, or he just forgot about Counterspell Mastery, because I forget about it sometimes. Um, or if he just wanted to waste it. Um, usually, if you want to waste a Counterspell Mastery, you would uh, cast it in the same turn as the spell that you actually want to cast. So maybe he did it on accident. Thorn collection right there, and uh, he hits his own grappler, which activates Nora Shield, uh, which means that he got uh, he got Nora from both Thorn collection and from hitting uh, Nora Shield. There's a Nature's Wrath hitting all three of these champions. What you gonna do? Another Thorn collection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. Who knows? He equips Horn of Order on Frey Trickster. There's, that's what he didn't want to get shattered. So he drives Queen Anaru. She attacks Frostwing Glaive twice. 
13 damage each. And uh, here comes Fairy Trickster with an attack that won't kill it. That's 5 damage, so he's got 7 HP left. So I don't know how he's gonna kill it. I guess Withering Fern will do 3 HP. Maybe he forgot about evasive. Oh, he stuns the uh, ward with uh, Bow Mage and attacks the Jack Eye Frost Queen. The red didn't forget about uh, evasive. He's pretty pro. I remember when the red sucked. Like, I remember when he was horrible. He was, like, I'm. <laughs> he was, like, you know, rare league. Uh, which back then they didn't have the leagues. He was like, you know, rank 700, 800 or so. Divine favor, Crystal Phoenix, dang. You don't see Crystal Phoenix much anymore. Um, and, uh, yeah, I remember when he played uh, Savage Tundra was his main faction. And, uh, oh man, what was that idiot's name? He won Drums of War for Savage Tundra for getting the most points, and somebody was pissed. Some stupid ass ST player was pissed about it. Some little kid, I can't remember his name. Oh, but he was mad. And that, but it, he was like, the red sucks. He's not even any good. I'm way higher ranked. And everybody was like, yeah, well, we don't like you, so we don't feel sorry for you. And now look at the red. He's pro. I think he just got serious. Like I think he was just, you know, playing a bunch of games and not caring. And then he was like, you know what? I'm a lot better than this. And then here he is. He's been top five ever since. I remember when he first got top five, I was like, is this a joke? The red is top five. But look at him. Look at him go. Yeah, and, and then I, I got him in queue one time, and I was like, okay, I can handle this. Because I'd beaten him several times before, and I was like, there's no way he can, you know. And then he just he kicked my ass, and I was like, all right, well, <laughs> never mind then. Uh, so Al Raider kills the Nora shielded uh, grappler there. Gibbs the red a ton of Nora. I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna win this one. Anaru's dead. I'm sorry, I was too busy talking about my love affair with the red. Um, Frostwing Glaive seems like he's gonna die. Six damage from a trickster. So he's uh, he's one HP short of a withering fern kill. Um, Wisp moves in. Probably gonna magical bomb. Oh, phase shift. So we can only be attacked by JFQ. And a Brambles there. Healing hand on Glaive. That sucks. So he goes he's back up to 30 HP. He equips a Withering Fern on Shardseer, which is good because Withering Fern is a perseverance counter. because uh, it's loss of life and it starts at the beginning of the next turn. So he equipped it pretty early, but he has um Callus Archidon unable to shatter. Um so the red is still in a pretty good position, and uh, he's doing a little rain of arrows from Bow Mage on Ward and uh, Al Raider. Sapling taking root and hitting Ward. So the red g uh, staying pretty aggressive, keeping it in there. Nice job. Uh, unfortunately, Frostwing Glaive is definitely not dead, so <laughs> he runs his Fairy Trickster back. I guess to try to get in another you know, counter spell or something. He's got Horn of Order, which is being kind of wasted right now. I don't think he's done an Invigorate yet. There's a... Uh, ooh, damn. That's a Cleansing Storm from Kalisk. So, uh, Glaive moves up, tries to kill the Trickster, and does. And that's it. Kalisk wins. Wow. I wouldn't have surrendered if I was the Red, but, uh, I mean, I guess that Healing Hand won Kalisk the game. Huh. It's not the first time I've seen that happen. Healing Hand's a really good spell. Anyway, see you guys in the next game.